Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to another episode of Almost Rich, Almost Famous, Almost Daily. Hi, Bex. I feel like we haven't done it almost daily in a minute. I know, and I am like ready to go. This is my second cup of coffee today. Check me out. Double fisting. <laughs> is there alcohol in one of those? Don't lie. Never know. That's the yeah, great thing about you know. doing these video chats and uh, opaque glasses. You will never know, but it you, is Monday. Yes. Well, I know you need to get... You need to get amped up for all of your dating app um, <laughs> situation. You're, so Bridget and I have been talking a lot recently about how she's on this one dating app. And I just think it's so interesting because obviously I have never gotten the opportunity to be on dating apps. Yes. And I, you know me. I've always said I will never, ever, ever get on a dating app. I think they're silly. Granted, I know that some people have successful relationships that have come out of them, but I just feel like that's a very small percentage, so I've always been anti it. So right before um, the pandemic, I got on a celebrity dating app because, you know, I am almost famous. So, but like, I just need to point out that she had to say celebrity. She's not like you normal people. This is yes. a celebrity. I just wanted people to know, like, you're not gonna find me on Bumble or like Tinder or anything. But, you know, if you're at the celebrity status, you might find me on Raya. So there, there I am. Anyways, Betsy. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> When you, when you get accepted yeah. onto this dating app, one of the questions is they ask you your age range. Like, what are you interested in, male or female? And then they'll say, like, what's your age range? Which is kind of difficult for me to answer because I'm right in that middle, like, age of dating. So I'm like, I guess I could date someone that's 40, but, like, yeah. 25 is not that far off for me either. Correct. So that's what I did. So I am matching with people that are literally 25 and also 40. That's 15-year yeah. gap. But I think I like, no, I like that age range for you. I think it's good. I think you could go 25. I think you could go 40. Like, I also think guys, you know, they're like a 40 year old is like comparable to maybe like a 27 year old female, you know? So I think that that's good. I, so we're talking about this because Bridget and I have recently befriended somebody who we didn't initially know how old he was, no. but he, he's 80. Like, when you say that, I, still, it shocks me. Like, okay. 80, that's like grandpa status. Granted, yeah. he looks great for 80. He can hang with us. I mean, I feel like we can get along with anybody. Yeah. But, yes, we do have an 80-year-old friend, people. So, okay, so, so this guy's 80, but, like, I'm not just saying, like, oh, my God, he's, like, 80. I'm saying he's actually 80 years old, yeah. and so... When Bridget and I first met him, I was like, Bridge, we have to set him up with our girlfriend. And Bridget's like, are you out of your mind? He's 80. 80, yes. I'm like, Betsy, no, it's too much. Um, so anyway, we still plan on, on, on connecting them. Mm -hmm. I just like, she is the kind of person who's like, age is nothing but a number. We, Bridget and I have come to find out, we don't totally believe that that's true. It I don't. And I think, again, have you ever seen the movie, He's Just Not That Into You? Yes. Okay, so there's, like, the rules and the exceptions. I feel like there are a few exceptions mm -hmm. that, yeah, maybe I could date a guy that's, like, 60 and get along great. Ooh, it makes me feel weird even saying You could never date a 60-year-old, by the way. I'm just saying no way. So our 80-year-old friend, he may be the exception and could date our lovely girlfriend. It's a long shot, but it could happen. Yeah, until he starts talking about like the Great Depression and how that was like similar, like what? Like I feel like we when we've hung out with him, there are a couple points where we're both like, huh? it goes over our head. It, you know, like, like when you just said you could date somebody who's sixty, there's no way. Like right. there's no way you could ever date a six year old. I my age range, I would say, if I ever had to say my age range, I would say. I would say 30 to 60. You, that shocks me about you. You would really? date a 60 year old? I don't think. 30 that. to 50. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm still not, I can say that like now because I don't ever actually have to say it, but that's what I think it would be. I'm curious to know what people's dating age ranges are. Like, yes. Do you go for like the established 80 year old or are you still looking for the fun 21 year old? Like what's going on out there in the dating world? Is age just a number? Let us know. 
I'm curious um, too. All right, so um, let us know. We'll actually put up a poll about that. I'm curious to know yeah. what people think. Um, so keep following us here. Almost Rich underscore Almost Famous on Instagram. Almost Rich, Almost Famous on YouTube. ARAF underscore T-L-O-D on Twitter. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers.